Today we're exploring Harry Potter A Forbidden Forest experience here in Little Elm, Texas, near Dallas. This spellbinding experience opens its doors this October 28th. For this video, I'm going to do a comparison and contrast from the previous Forbidden Forest experiences that I've had in Virginia and in New York and hopefully see if this one is different. From just walking around, I have noticed that the entrance is actually quite long and uh, you do have to take a little bit of a walk just to get to the entrance. But the cool thing is that we have a full moon tonight. You hear the wolves right behind the tree line and this is the best like Prince of, of Azkaban vibey type of Forbidden Forest experience that I have ever seen and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. After walking um, about a not five minutes but it's a good walk. We are finally here at Little Elm Park and right off from the entrance before you even enter the forest you will have some bathrooms here off to the right um, just in case. Don't think that they're gonna have some bathrooms inside the Forbidden Forest experience until you get to probably the lunch area. I'll update you guys as I go along, but before you enter, there are some bathrooms in the beginning. So I spoke with some of the TMs here and they did say if you do stop and interact with all the experiences and interactions, it does take about an hour for the whole trail. But first, let me go to guest services and get my goodie bag and see what's inside. There's your bag. Thank you. There's two drink tickets in there. You can use here or at the end of the trail. Okay, thank you. Same for you. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. Next door is uh, merch, and then at the end of the trail is a big merch store. Okay, it's awesome. Kind of like a sneak preview of, of what we have. Okay, thank you. So, okay, so there's guest services, mini preview of exclusive merch, and then we have a huge store at the end of it. Hello. Hello. You have to have some butter beer. 10 ounce butter beer for $9. Now the souvenir stein is $16. Or if you just want the souvenir stein and not the butter beer, it is $10. Wait, you just, you just you got a complimentary freaking some coffee? Damn. You got cake pops. Aragog layer cake pop. Ooh, that sounds cool. The golden snitch cake pop. We got some cookies, some Death Eater cookies. We don't have them on display right now. They're in the refrigerator. Um, they're in the refrigerator. Oh, so they have hot chocolates per household. And there's even a Hogwarts um, hot chocolate one. Interesting. Topped with whipped cream and green glitter dusting. You have the gold glitter dusting for the Gryffindors. Ooh, $7. Why not add a liquor? Oh, okay. Jesus. People going crazy. Make sure to freeze the frame just so you can read everything that they have available in the mulling pot. So there's gonna be sections here where they have a photograph here. They have a little camera to signify that you are entering a photo area. So here's where you get to take amazing pictures. And this is probably my favorite one yet. This is really cool. It's actually really spacious here. Very big area to take some amazing pictures. For some reason, I don't know why, but I really like this one. Maybe it's because it's so much more space uh, that it makes it more grand. Don't know, but I really like it. And we're about to go into the beginning of uh, the little light ceremonial opening thing i'll show you guys what i'm talking about if you guys don't know uh, but if you guys have seen my previous uh, forbidden forest videos you guys know what i'm talking about but i'm gonna show you guys anyway for those who don't number one please stay on the trail do not get off the trail if you get off the trail i can't protect you from the werewolves and those cornish pixies we don't want to end up on a chandelier due to those cornish pixies number two if you need help at any point, please find someone who is dressed exactly like me with this beautiful green light. We are here to help. Number three, we have a village at the very end of this experience where you have lots of butter beer, plenty of snacks, and plenty of places for you to take photos. Speaking of photos, we would love for you to share your experience with us. And you can do that by tagging all your photos, hashtag, HP Forbidden Forest Experience. Now, has everyone downloaded the app tonight? Yes. Wonderful. If you haven't, that is quite all right. If you look behind 
you underneath the big light, I have a scan that you can use so you can download it and join in on the magical experience. Slytherin. Slytherin. Yeah. It's okay. Not all of us can be Hufflepuffs or Gryffindors <laughs> or Ravenclaws, but it's okay. 60 points to Slytherin. Of course. Now, what does this do? Do you know what it does? Turns off and on lights. Exactly. 50 more points to your house. <laughs> now, would y'all like to see me take some light tonight? Go for Wonderful. it. Wonderful. One, two, three. One more time. I'll let you get ready. <laughs> One, two, three. Wonderful. Now, for this next part, I'm going to need a little bit of help. Does anybody know what the spell is to bring light? Lumos! Lumos, exactly. What is your house? Slytherin again! Man, we got a lot of Slytherins tonight. <laughs> you know what? A hundred points to Slytherin. Woo! Wait, it's Dumbledore. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I need like Dumbledore. We need some points. <laughs> now, if you would like to help me illuminate our forest on the count of three, say Lumos. You ready? Yes. Two, three, Lumos! Fabulous job, everyone! Woo! You're such great wizards and witches! Please have a wonderful, magical experience here at Harry Potter, a Forbidden Forest experience. Woo! Have a wonderful night, everyone! Thank you! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do it. We just got 100 points for Slytherin winning here. Uh, don't let Dumbledore know because... Um, he will definitely try to steal those points. One of the best reasons and practically why I recommend people to come here, especially if you have little ones, is because this place is a really interactive experience. You could cast spells, you could uh, produce Patronuses, you could bow to Buckbeak. There's just a lot of really cool interactive experiences for little ones and older generation as well. Look at that. They have seating and it's only been like maybe like two-fourths of the way into the, the trail. They have trash cans here, and they have seatings for you if you are already tired. Whoa! This is awesome! And you see Hagrid looking out into, I believe it's the ocean. I have no idea what's back there. So check this out. This is supposed to be the Black freaking Lake, and Hector just saw the little boat all the way over there oh, what the? can you even see that good good eye hector good eye since we are here for the press event we don't really have to wait in line and do the whole uh, waiting and bowing but there is a line you can't just walk up to it on opening day you do need to wait in a line it's actually starting back here and ends right here right next to Buckbeak. Who doesn't want to bow to Buckbeak? That will be here on the opening day of the 28th and you will have a chance to, to bow to Buckbeak. Only polite. And so I'm gonna show you step up. exactly what it does. So Tiffany is going to show us and introduce us on how to exactly do and, ex and produce a Patronus. Take it away, <laughs> Tiffany. Expecto Patronus! A cougar? What the? Patronus! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that was good. So what was the happiest uh, memory? Memory? Oh. I can't, can't tell. tell. Oh, Wait, I can't say. Can you, can you me with your phone? So this is another interactive experience that you could do. And this time around, there's actually three sections in which you could do three people at a time. So you have one up here on the little uh, stage. You could go right through here and then there's also another yeah, stage there for you. So you could do three at a time, it speeds up the process and you get your own little personal Patronus specifically for yourself. I don't know where we are. We could be in half of the whole uh, trail, but look at, just look how big this place is. And we're just probably halfway through this whole event. It is a lot bigger than any of the Forbidden Forest experiences that I've been to, um, again, in New York and Virginia. So it's really cool. And now we're gonna go duel uh, like some wizards. We both survived. And this is the reason why I love this one is because you have a whole thing here where two wizards can fight simultaneously and then there's also one over here. So you have a total of four people doing this simultaneously, which is really cool. Carla cheated! <laughs> Whoa! Look at that. All you have to do is extend your wand arm beyond the sign and say, Colovaria! <laughs> I said nothing. It's for Jake. Colovaria! Oh? Say it with your chest. Colovaria! <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's great! Oh. She's a Gryffindor! <laughs> <laughs> so this one, Colovaria, is actually very very exclusive to this Forbidden Forest experience because I have not seen it in any other uh, Forbidden Forest experience. You extend your wand or your hand, your arm, whatever the case is, and you say Calavaria. And it illuminates the whole mushroom line or, or I have no idea what, it, what you would call it, a colony of mushrooms. I don't know what you would call them, but it's pretty cool. The right. Yes, yeah, exactly. we're right. Okay. Right. Extend wand arm beyond the sign. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. You have Incendio, you have Calavaria, and then now we're going into one that's called Bombarda! If you guys have seen my Hogwarts Legacy gameplay, you know Bombarda is my favorite spell to use. It's basically an explosion spell. It's awesome. And yeah, you're able to produce it right here. Let me try it out. Alright, so I don't have any wand, but let's try this out. Beyond the sign and say Bombarda. Bombarda! Oh! I love this. So you don't need a wand, as you can see. You just use your hand. Let's try this again. Bombarda! I love that. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my goodness. Little Pygmy Puff cupcakes. And a little cake pop that has a spider. Pause the video if you guys want to see the prices on anything and everything here. Taste test. All right, taste test. Um, it's good, but it's like a, it's kind of watered down, like universal version. Oh no! Yeah, but it's it's good. It's, it's good. It's, they said it's got nitro. It's nitro infused. So okay, give it a try. <laughs> give it a try. You heard from the man. <laughs> and we are now officially in the food court area, the rest area. This is like the the halftime of the whole event in which you could sit down, grab something to drink, grab a butter beer, um, grab some food. There's a lot of food options to try some. There's a lot of desserts from cupcakes. I'm gonna show you guys actually a cool video of a cupcake that I tried. It's really good. Uh, the cake pop was a bit dry, but expect really awesome food and just something to like calm down, sit down, and just keep going about your day in this event. So this is what's left <laughs> of the sirloin skewer. Amazing, highly recommend. And it comes with chimichurri, which is amazing. And um, these are the Cornish Pixies. 
Cornish Pixie. Pixie. Pixie Pasty. Cornish Pixie Thank you so much. The Cornish Pixie Pasties. This is the veggie version. Veggie version. Because they're out of the beef. Not a fan of the veggies. <laughs> As you can see, I left half of it. But um, that That's skewer, though, one, no? amazing. Super good. We just finished the food. It was awesome. I only got to try the cupcake, which is awesome. Uh, the sirloin skewer, <laughs> awesome. And the veggie corn, cornish pixie patty. Don't recommend it. But try it if you want. Now, we're going to go shopping. And by shopping, I don't mean me spending money. I mean, I'm gonna go show um, what they have available in the store. If there's something good, I'll buy it. If not, I'm just gonna show you exactly what they have, prices and all that. And there is a bathroom at the end uh, of the event as well, right after you finish off with the little food court section. So you do have bathrooms here as well. And here we are. Remember, no eating or drinking inside the Emporium. And now, to see what's inside. Hopefully there's some cool stuff in here as well. Hey, Who knows? It's a lot of merch. A lot of Christmas merch as well. So they do have these long sleeves with the Gryffindor. Uh, I'm assuming all four houses are being represented as well. So they have Gryffindor on each side, the emblem on the back, and it is going for $40 for this crew neck long sleeve. It does have Harry Potter for Brandon Ford experience on the back as well. And they do have a zipper option as well, going for 65. Doesn't have, oh wait, yes it does. It does have the name on the side, same logo. Also have a shirt going for 25. Oh my God, see why aren't, why are all the baby clothes so much better? Like I love this design, it's such an easy, simple design. And I love this colorway, um, but damn, it looks cool, 35. I love how simple it is. I love this one as well. Oh my goodness, the Patronus. Beautiful Patronus. And then you have Harry Potter for Ben Forest Experience on the side. Oh, this is so much better. This is really cool. And I really like this one as well. That's 35. Okay, so they do have it for the adults. Um, now, let me see the price difference. It is $60. Okay, not bad. And $60, you have the Expecto Patronum stag on the front. And you do also have the Harry Potter A Forbidden Force experience on the side, which is beautiful. Now, this store is huge. They have a large variety of wands on each side. Oh, look at this one. Death Eater vibe. Okay, love this one. So they have all the, I guess, I don't want to say Patronuses, but um, they do have these same emblems slash logos slash insignias um, all throughout the forest. So if you see them in the forest, you could get a whole sweater. But it doesn't have anything in the front, it's just black, uh, but it does still have the Harry Potter Forbidden Forest Experience um, logo on the side as well. And um, $60. As you can see from my hair, it has been quite an eventful night. This is possibly my favorite. Oh my God, yeah, my hair, I just checked it. It's crazy. But this has probably been my favorite Forbidden Forest experience because it's just different. It's huge, it's expansive. Maybe it's because it's, it's just a bigger park, uh, but it is huge. There are some exclusivities uh, that come with this event here. I would recommend, like I have previously, I would recommend you guys come and check it out because this is quite an event. That's gonna be it for the video. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh.